Hi, meteorologist Francis Payton, and here I have Miss Kenzie. Y'all already know why we're here this weekend. We're here for our weekly science experiment. Kenzie, say weekly science experiment. <laughs> Anyways, last week did, we did a homemade barometer. This week, we're going to do a homemade thermometer. So by the end of this, we might have a cool little weather station set up. But don't worry, no mercury is involved. So it's plenty safe for you, your family, and your children. What you're going to need is going to be a bottleneck, similar to the one we used last week for your barometer. However, this does have to be a clear bottle. You'll also need a straw, food dye, water, and rubbing alcohol. If you don't have rubbing alcohol, this is kind of where the parents can come in to play and help you out. You can use rum 151, which is 75% ethyl alcohol. You actually have rubbing alcohol at a 70% ethyl alcohol. So it's a pretty close alternative there for you. And you'll also need some tape, glue, and if you have modeling clay, that's great. Modeling clay would be perfect for this as well. So let's get to so it. So I moved outside because it's just a absolutely beautiful day. And I have my clear bottle, my half cup of water, now I have my half cup of 151. I don't really suggest drinking this. Actually, I have been use put it I've been using it in a spray bottle uh, and using it as rubbing alcohol and spraying down surfaces as well as my groceries. Get my red food dye. I figured it'd be kind of fun to make it look a little bit more like mercury. Here we have clear straw. If you have difficulty finding a clear straw, I went to Taco Bell. So with this clear straw, you don't exactly want it to touch the bottom of your bottle and you don't want to lose it either. So this is where your tape, glue, modeling clay, whatever you can get to secure the straw. Now the best way to test your homemade thermometer is going to be putting it in the sun because then you can watch the temperature changes. Okay, so we're right outside my apartment. Um, decided to try to find a spot in the sun. It's kind of tough because my apartment's set on 70 degrees and today's high is 71 degrees. So um, we shall see how this goes. There's a slight change. Uh, so basically the air will expand which will push down on the water and the water is nowhere to go but up the straw. So you kind of see a light difference within that level. Well, I will continue to keep a close eye on my homemade thermometer. If you guys do make one yourselves, please let me know and share in comments on Facebook, on our Instagram. I will be leaving picture updates of my own thermometer on the Facebook video in the comment section. So something you guys keep updated with. I hope you learned something from this experiment or had something quick and easy to do with yourself, your family, or significant other. And uh, Kenzie's back inside snoozing. So I think that kind of means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and continue to stay healthy during this period of time. As always, thank you so much for tuning in to our weekly science experiment.